I take it back. You know who lives in a boat parked on a roof? Lewis. He was so proud of being Indian. I think for him, it was a way to be something other than just a finch. Strong Indian name, Lewis. Well, can't deny you had a nice view, at least. Check out the locker contents for later. Oh shit, the Wonderland Lewis Turbo. Spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. It's like the perfect mix of the Super Nintendo and the PlayStation 1. All right, let's go see what's in your locker contents. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Fish. That scared me. He kept working at the candy. But he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. I've worked a job like this. Trust me, it'll drive you nuts. It wasn't with fish, but to... equally as monotonous. It was license plates. What did my mind begin One. to do? Oh. I asked him to describe it. He said he started. Okay, this smoking. is cool. I'm trying to play two Imagine games at once. Let's see how well I can keep this up. He'd feel his way about. Then something moved. Bats. And toads. And things Sick that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. Oh god, these fishes are starting to pile up. He took it very seriously. I all had right. hoped he'd find himself. Luckily the fish is just the same motion over and over and over, so it's pretty easy to keep up. Oh, now we're switching perspectives. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I'm gonna get my hand cut off, aren't I? I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Yeah, but it'll drive you nuts. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. It's probably a bad idea. I even encouraged him. Oh. It seemed very promising at first. Imagination's taken over. He told me he'd made a new friend. Doggo. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. Yeah. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. It's <laughs> good tunes. Good job, King Lewis. And songs for them to play. He talked about starting a band. Maybe he should have. And he was always humming something. Probably this song. Look, you gotta entertain yourself somehow. Cutting fish like this. I mean, I'm sure it's already getting boring for people. 
he no longer spoke at the cannery. And they don't do it for a living. They're just watching me do it. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, what about were them? all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Yeah. All hail King Lewis, he held Lord of Fish. Mayor. Okay, Mayor Lewis, I'm sorry. Level up, Lewis. Good they begged job. him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. Oh. Okay, you know what? I saw this bit in the city, then immediately launch on. trailer, and I was like, what the fuck is going on here in this game? Now I get it. New Louisville. Oh yeah, New Louisville. Fine wine in New Louisville. St. Louis. St. Louis. Home of the St. Louis started Blues. Drifting away from our reality. Oh. I can't steer this boat worth a damn. Minneapolis. <laughs> Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Big fan of this Lewis name Even convention. as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing off. Oh. Lewis, you're really not okay. There's someone talking to you, and you can't even see them. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a I want to be a beautiful prince. Beautiful prince. With some colorful waters. Don't swim in it, kids. The prince was on his own quest for... Radiant rainbows, of course. Radiant rainbows. I ain't got no time for snakes. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. I'm sorry I'm ruining your dream, Lewis. <laughs> Damn it. He followed the sound of his... <sighs> well, for you, probably sitar. Electric sitar. Alright, let's see if I can get this one right. Close His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. Lewisopolis? Even then, his logic remained sound. He knew Mark. the world was all in his imagination. Oh, jeez. Fish are piling up, Lewis. Oh wow, this game is getting like... But he was so proud of having created it. They put like a lot of work into this part of the game that in his isn't own eyes, really the game. Become something greater than a king. This is like... This is the MGS4 Raiden Vamp and uh, Gecko fight done way back. Someone who'd never known success in the real world. I think it was Sorry about that. Stupid cat. I really gotta find a better mic set up so the cat stops micing over the microphone. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon. The real Lewis the was King Lewis. The Golden Palace. All hail King Lewis, Lord of the Fish. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Lewis, where is your kingly robe, Lewis? Old Pete Brown Cannery. Nintendo Switch. Lewis, I thought better of you. I began to forget the world we know. 
All hail me, fish. I think it pains I am me to remember king. Lewis, the cannery worker. <gasps> I am playing as King Lewis. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Come with me, fish, Lewis. Come with me. They're not even cutting fish, Lewis. I still thought I could save him. Oh, you were clearly incorrect, Even madam. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. That sounds much better than Lord of Fish. The yeah. Past with his companions. Love me. Love your Lord of Wonder. You creepy, faceless things. Including the wise Caligula who'd insisted on advising Hey, look, cat. There's a cat that doesn't knock, up, knock over every microphone. What's named after your weird furry sister? Uh -huh. I don't know the family tree anymore. His prince waiting, holding his crown. I want my crown. There was only one thing left to do. Take it? Maybe. The thought. Bend down his head. Oh no. <sighs> well, I guess we know how Lewis bites the dust. I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Especially the fish. Yep. Jobs like that will make you do that. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. Rest in fishes, Lewis. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. We lived up here. I wish we'd stayed. Well, yeah. I mean, as much as a hazard as this place is, it's pretty neat. But I understand why we left. The curse. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Yeah, I can see that. To Teach and to Learn by Don Finch. Okay, so this is where your parents stayed. It's a pretty rockin' little spot. If we ignore the fact what that it's that night had been coming for a long time. teetering on poorly constructed foundation. Maybe it should have come sooner. But it had to end one way or another. All that's left now is to tell you about that last night. What happened, Edith? What happened on the night you left? Also, why am I suddenly like two feet tall?
Tell us your story, Edith. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very <clears throat> specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. Later, fam jam. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Wait a second. If this game takes place in 2017 or 2016, that makes Edie like... Man, I really can't do math live. 10? 20? Less than 20? Less than 20. Let's say less than 20. Two or three years. Okay, so she's like 17. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. But you know what? With this life, that thing you're afraid of isn't going to I get end it. when you leave the house. You mean the curse, Grandma? Edith has a right to know these stories. My children are dead because of your stories. I think it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. We'll have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay? History of the Finches by Edie. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. Yeah, I'll say, Jesus Christ. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. You know, I've seen that house every day of my life. I bet life. it did smell awful. Awful. Calvin's in here somewhere. But I never thought I'd go back to it. This reminds me a lot of when the, the fog rolled in, ending I lost Zone of Dark Souls way. 1. I got turned around. Yeah, because that's a big old rock. Um, swing a left. Let's just circle around this big For thing. a while, I wondered. Well, game won't let me. Let's just uh, walk I around the fog. I seeing things. Bye. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. Like what? Like beds? But when I saw them, they felt like old friends. That night, a lot of things came back to me. Or maybe I came back to them. I like after all that wreckage, the door somehow manages to stay locked. Things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... Edith, what are you doing in here? Oh, jeez. It's mine. Edith. Mama. Mom, you're gonna rip it. Let go. Just let her have it, Edith. I kicked and screamed, but... Mom dragged me to the car. Yeah. I never saw great-grandma Edie again. 
The next morning, the band came to pick her up, but she was already gone. Ouch. That's rough. After that, we moved around a lot. Oh yeah, every kid's favorite game. We both tried to make the best of it. I'll call this a video game first. I don't a think. A few years went by. I don't think any video games ever had you do that. Come on, shake that plot loose. My mom didn't like to talk about it. No, that's but pretty understandable. She started getting sick a lot. <coughs> the rest happened pretty quickly. Ah, shit. She got better for a while, and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. But what about the baby? Until I found out about you. Okay. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. If we lived forever, maybe we'd have time to understand things. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. And appreciate how strange and brief all of this is. This journal was supposed to be for you. But now I hope you'll never see it. Am I about to be born? I just want to meet you. Are we going to have another video game first here? I'll tell you all these stories myself. Playing a birth? But I guess if you're reading this now... Things didn't work out that way. Oh, you died, you died during childbirth, don't you? This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's Shit. a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance to be here at all. Good luck. This fucking game. Got me all teared up again. I guess we know what remains of Edith Finch now. Her son. And that's about it. <laughs>